welcome this is the energy vibration um, reading for all Sun Moon Arising uh, Librans I want to say thank you for returning thank you for your likes and shares this has been really weird because we're having some retrograde planets and seriously I have to be pushing myself to get these videos out and done and just a lot of things are happening okay for you guys I've seen a lot of reverse cards which is the sense that you have work on that sort of an energy but this month of July is going to be the first month to the second quarter of the year 2017 and you have the energy of um, this month is the energy of the star so whatsoever is happening is the energy of the star in this month and this is going to be a profound wonderful month for you guys because you're vibrating with the energy vibration of the hair energies also okay the zodiac energies um, which we begin the month with is the energy of water and we're ending the month with the energy of fire so water and fire is always uh, the energy vibration of cleansing so whatsoever is happening this first new um, month of the second quarter of the year 2017 it's going to be cosmic cleansing that sort of a thing because the um, universal beams are coming in they're they're um, being present they're presenting themselves more and more and especially from this month of July the energy vibrations are changing and the energies you're going to feel it and you're going to see the um, beams of intergalactic beams trying to connect with you and your cosmic families uh, trying to connect with you okay because we're not here alone they have been always been here but um, from of July of this year you're going to see the changes that has been happening because most of us are changing or birth signs from uh, the 3d world to the 4 and 5d world okay all right for you guys it's just a wonderful 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 and um I'm looking at something here which I I haven't seen because I've um, done the breakdowns and shuffle the cards and that sort of a thing so that I don't have to shuffle the cards online because I change up the reading every month. It's a new, um, a new sort of energy. Whatever the energy is in the month, that is what I um, will ask for um, for you, Libran. So let's see what um, certain energies, certain aspect of love is going to bring up for you, Libran, because there is a shift in the way, and uh, um, most of you are going to go traveling. Um, that is, a, uh, you're going to go movement, whether travel with a car or a bus or whatever, a train, or um, there is going to be a lot of movement for you you liberant so um, maybe you start to have a job that is a traveling job and you never had that before your own energy vibration is in this month which I am so um, happy about because this month has four weeks and in these uh, four weeks there's a lot of stuff that is happening you have your own energy vibration starting off the month in the first week with the hair you have also the hair in the second week in the third week which is a very your reading is just so different to you liberants in this week because um, there is a sense uh, and I will show you what that energy is let me reach but you have also the wheel of fortune so th th this is this is this is wonderful and um, there is a surprise of event in the third week okay so I'm giving you this before there's going to be a surprise of event I'm not going to ask what that the su surprise is if you would like to know I'm going to start doing extended readings that you can buy uh, to know exactly what is going to happen for you but for a lot of people they're going to be a surprise event and this surprise event is going to have to do with the orange sector so Archangel Metatron would be um, working on that uh, um, 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 level of uh, um, energy vibration of what that surprise but it has to do with orange energy uh, and that would be um, your this um, sacred chakra and that sort of a thing so whatever is happening in the third week there is going to be a surprise event and it's going to be something that to do with spirituality your inner strength so there is going to be a surprise um, thing the fourth week is one of the best weeks that you have so your best week is going to be the fourth week because um, even though in the fourth week you are having your sacrifice in yourself and there is going to be a renewal and the renewal is bringing the wheel of fortune so this is going to be a very very promising week the fourth week for you guys okay 
um, the energy vibration the numbers you have um, it's all about new beginnings it's all about um, new things um, it can be because you will be connecting with your intergalactic families and your cosmic families this aspect could be coming up but there is a surprise event that is going to happen in the third week your focus is going to be the energy of uh, um, the ace of sword which is your own energy vibration so this is going to be wonderful for you um liberance the ace of sword so you are going to be victorious successfully um get, you know uh, coming out of something that you have been in so congratulations whatever that will be and it's all about um victory triumph for you guys in this month whatever is happening there is always uh, there is going to be a victory and triumph in this month over something that is happening um, a whole lot of people will be traveling overseas that's sort of a thing that's sort of an energy that is here and um, what is happening is that um, what is taking place is that um, in the first week you have your own energy vibration of, ju of justice is it a good justice and no it's not a good justice because whatever that you had done whatever um, that you liberals had done um, it's as if justice is going to come down on you so if you have done something injustice just it's going to come down on you okay so yeah I'm sorry I'm getting information while I'm doing this okay so um, the energy of justice is here but it is the perception the perception because obviously some of you and not all of you but some of you did do something um, some of you will have justice um, if you're going through a legal um, the legal system and there was something that was unjust done to you it will be balanced for the people who were working on a high energy vibration and in the positive sense not with an ego and for the rest who hasn't been the energy of perception is has to do with something with the heart chakra so some people could be divorcing and don't want to pay out alimenta alimentation or child support or that sort of a thing and they are going to come down hard on you so be aware of this situation okay so no matter what is happening love is the only thing you need to either our chakra there's definitely a situation with someone out there who is getting married or they're getting divorced and do not want to to pay or give out what is readily due to give out so be aware of this karmatic situation that you're creating for yourself because it's a karmatic situation that you're creating for yourself okay whatsoever is happening you have to really be connected and understand what is ever ever is happening you're work, you you're working with the energy of the red which is the base chakra your materialistic things are in the reverse form whatsoever is happening your materialistic things are in the reverse form I'm not sure whatever is happening so be aware of the situation that um, the the situation that is going on that your materialistic um, situation is in the reverse form okay so we need to understand that most time um, we need to um, focus and do the right thing because obviously some people and this is a majority of the people or else it would be coming up that you weren't vibrating at a high energy vibration and for the people who were um, justice is going to prevail and this will be in the reverse form so the people who have done good um, you will receive the materialistic aspect okay so um, whenever cards comes up especially in a monthly reading it is telling the majority of uh, you liberals or whoever the zodiac sign is uh, that it is uh, a sense that you need to work on that aspect of yourself in this month okay so um, I do read reverse cards because uh, um, there are information in these reverse cards as we move on and we're moving on to um, the energy vibration of uh, the second week 
we are having um, the energy of a spy and this is over so if you were doing this to someone else if you were um, calling up people and uh, pretending as if you were friends and you like them and that sort of a thing but only because you wanted information or only because you were collecting information or um, somebody asked you to do it or that sort of a thing um, this is going to come to an end in the second week okay this is a, a trickery you were a trickster you were working as a trickster and that mean you were not vibrating with the energy of love but you were vibrating on the any the energy of uh, your ego and the lower energies okay so if you were doing this and you were listening to people conversation because as I said um, we're all being listened at um, there are people who are um, using your um, cameras and your videos and that's why I never like do my readings directly and, and and upload them I always um, do my readings but it doesn't really matter who you are your computer um, invite these unscrupulous people in your life okay so because um, I, I, I cannot imagine why would I want to be spying on someone I really don't have the time so whatever that was happening and a spine it's as if you you or someone was spying on you it could be you were spying on someone or someone was spying on you or you know whatever it is it is now coming to an end okay and um, for some people it's coming for an end for some people it's getting worse and worse um, so whatsoever that has been happening you have to be aware you know I, I, I really um, don't know what it is like I know um, people have done it to me and I think uh, you're sick because it doesn't really matter who is doing it um, that you're spying on someone it is it is very sick because you're invading that person's privacy but I guess some people are so screwed up to know <laughs> not to know uh, what that is all about okay and it doesn't really matter if someone is not doing anything I don't see why the sense that people should be spying on you so you know I'm always alert I'm always saying to people I don't I don't um, trust anything any anymore and um, you don't have to do anything but you have people who really just sit out and they're waiting to get you and waiting for you to fall and I can't I can't um, vibrate with that sort of energy because I don't know why I think people are just sick and screwed up in the head so they think that everybody is sick and screwed up in the head I'm sorry I don't know where that is coming from <laughs> so so if you were doing it to someone or whatever be aware you have another reverse um, message here and it is the energy of loss okay but it is in the reverse form so this is good this is good in the reverse form I actually like seeing this in the reverse form because whenever this is in the reverse form that means you have no fear about losing anything you know and this is very good the energy of this being in reverse is uh, you know is very positive because you're not feeling as if you have lost anything and that sort of a thing if anything you have regained um, uh, um, regain uh, regain um, the um, sense of you elevating yourself and vibrating at a high energy vibration so in the year in the first two weeks you have to deal with your own energy vibration of the energy of the hair and I I personally think that this is good whenever we're working in our own energy vibration because we understand things that is where we learn to heal things and let go so the first two the weeks is as if we're healing things and let go the mysterious aspect of you is in the reverse in the first week so you have to understand what is it that you're doing that is blocking your own materialistic um, uh, flow so um, you know and in the second week whosoever is playing a trick on you whosoever is spying on you you know you know and this is what I say to people you have to be positive and you have to understand you have to learn to do the right things and you liberals can just go warm at people and that sort of a thing but yet still you know I 
I, I've learned in life that uh, whatever I am doing in the quiet I must be able to do it in the in the light so whatsoever I'm doing in my private life I must can do it in the how to world and uh, so I always think nobody should ever have an upper hand over me or nobody should ever think that they have secrets for me because I don't have secrets and no one will have any secrets for me because I don't believe in having secrets my life is an open book so this is how oh, if you look at things that way because you liberals are like you cut with your words you know and you can go straight to the heart and you can just pitter and people will dislike you for this reason and this is why you need to be uh, contain um, your uh, this energy that you have that your characteristic contain it until when you're you are asked to use it and this is why you know certain um, people were born on the certain sign to become certain to um, uh, because you know become certain people you know the characteristic of uh, working in the law of that sort of a thing uh, government institute and that sort of a thing because then you can use that energy vibration but not all liberals could work in such an organization so here we are um, so be aware of whatever it is in the second week and there's a little trickery that is working um someone and you know when these energies because it's it's your own energy vibration and it it can be you but you you have stopped doing it this is what i'm getting to say you were doing it to someone but now you think no i'm, I'm, I'm going to stop doing this is i don't want to do this to this person anymore this person is so nice i don't see what people are lying about this person and I don't want to do it anymore it's just that sort of energy and you're realizing that okay we're moving on to the third week and the third week we have the unknown and this is what I've said is that there is something um, something that is going to happen um, unexpectedly when because when the unknown energy comes up is something that is going to um, come up unexpectedly and it can have um, um, a lot of things to do with a lot of people but I'm gonna go deeper in this um, but the unexpected the unexpectedly unexpect it's something unknown is going to happen in the third week okay and uh, you are going to need to have perseverance 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 and this thing that is going to happen unexpectedly it has to do with the spirituality so you know unexpectedly maybe you connect with the wrong um, uh, beams and it's yeah spiritual strength it's as if you're going to lose your spiritual strength in the third week so this is obviously that some people will be connecting with intergalactic beings and the cosmic family but maybe you connect with um, a wrong sort of an energy vibration and it's going to have an effect on you and maybe you're not aware how you can deal with that thing so persevere and ask that it it releases you ask your guides and angels for divine intervention whatever this unknown thing that is going to happen it's going to break your spiritual strength so be aware of this because you know um i need to tell people this because it's a spiritual card it's a spiritual card so something unknown is going to happen to you and you have to find the inner strength you have to find a way to heal the situation it's always what i'm getting is that some people found out about connecting with the universal beams but they weren't protecting themselves and they have called in the wrong beams that is one aspect that could be happening for some people the other aspect that could be happening for some people is that um, people are sending negative energies to you and um, their soul there are people who are soul collectors who um, collect soul group and why it's because they want you to recoordinate and you might um, get in contact with these people not aware of what they said so be aware when you ask for a reading and they say you have to say yes or you have to sign this documents and say yes I so 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 do so 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 be aware that soul connecting that's people who are collecting souls so you can recoordinate so be aware of this because um, 
I forget to tell that some people do it I could not imagine that people are working on the spiritual part and do these sort of things so then um, you're just doing it for the money and you're doing it for your ego base and you're working with a different sort of energy and we need to understand even though I will I will not give <clears throat> the power to the lower energies I still have to let you know that there are lower energies but I don't work on that energy vibration I work on a high energy vibration I work with the light I work with the ninth dimension so and I work with love so um, it is there people and it do happen because this has something to do with spiritual uh, spirituality and it and and that means you're connected and you're open up to um, the unseen world and the veil is removed in the third week and something unexpectedly happen and it's as if um, your 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 energy has broken down your energy has gone so whenever that happen is that for for instance people who ask to travel you need to protect yourself before you ask to travel because if you open up you, you leave yourself open up uh, and you're us to traveling you can always um, pick up a uh, lower energies that wants to mat ma uh, manipulates you because uh, they have more wisdom than you are and for the people who are out there um, looking for and, and trying to figure out and discover who you are these things always happen that you um, try with the wrong group or you connect with a wrong group and they see uh, your blessing your gifts and they will use it to manipulate you okay people are not nice okay not all people but not all of them are nice especially I've realized that there are people who are working on the spiritual part and they're using a, a lower energies to attract what is it that they want and they're using lower energies to work against other people who are trying to um, work with a higher energy vibration okay so I must I must express them that I must tell you um, not everyone can read you um, some people are just closed off some people can buy thousands of reading and never feel completely connect with the reading and that is because um, not everyone can read you there are special people if you feel that you connect to someone if you listen to YouTube videos and that sort of a thing and you feel as if you connect with that person then that is the person you're supposed to um, connect with so again I need to express this in the third week something unexpectedly is going to happen and it has to do with the spirituality of who you are so that means um, it can um, it's going to be as if you have picked up low energies and it's not not only going to be that because it can also be you picked up or you start working with your uh, the guides and angels and uh, and the um the spirit world and uh, you you are overlaid with your you, you get too much information too fam, too much messages that you can't work with and then you feel as if you're so tired it can be like that okay Congratulations, the last week is the best. The fourth and final week is the best because you've got the Wheel of Fortune. So whatever that was, whoever you had connected with, whatever beams that you connected with, whatever it was, they are going to bring you the Wheel of Fortune. And there is, go with a Wheel of Fortune, that means a new, a, a renewal, renewal of uh, um your luck a renewal of your luck a renewal of your divine life purpose that sort of a thing but there is coming a renewal and you had to sacrifice something to get to this point in your life you had to sacrifice something to get to this point in your life this is a wonderful profound reading and I want to say to each and every person the fourth week um, as I've always said try to vibrate on a higher energy vibration of love when you vibrate on a higher energy vibration of love you don't have to sacrifice anything because it will all just fall in place okay so in the fourth week 
the wheel of fortune is here for you and there is a profound renewal in everything in your life I am just so loving this reading for you guys because in the fourth reading as I've said this is a, a really weird reading there is a lot of information that is coming in in this reading because obviously a lot of you Librans are going to be connecting with the intergalactic families and the cosmic families okay so um, some of you are for intergalactic so you're you're from different different galaxies and the cosmic family um, from these galaxy who have asked you to come here and decide to work with you in this lifetime and this life part they are um, going to come in they're going to start coming in and they're going to make themselves be visible so be aware of that okay align yourself with that so it's going to be a wonderful profound wonderful time for you guys for you Librans. let's see what is here in the love readings for you guys the love readings okay the energy of the love readings uh, some of you will be um, um, It's, it's 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 for some people it's going to be what the energy of love for you guys is going to be one of you're working on your own self you're working on your own self to bring self-love balance in your financial world it's all about you loving you in this month you finding the love within you find in the love within there's a lot of messages though there is people who are going to um, connect with you there's going to be a lot of talking uh, a, a, a lot of talking and these could be you know talking um, about you know in the future um, um, relationships in the future the sort of a thing because um, the energy of that sort of a thing is here you know you're trying to connect and you're trying to see and you know it can be also um, yeah a lot of discussions um, uh, people who are um, lifetime partners will start to discuss and excitement at, 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 at work it's more you know discussions um, and, and if in the love in the love arena it's like you, you know people who have already have their lifetime partners people who they know this is my partner for life a lot of discussion about you know things about uh, and, and and it's uh, it's all about love but it's love of your work um, work is going to be for you guys the most foremost but in but the love is going to be for the people who have uh, their lifetime partners uh, there's going to be a lot of discussions uh, um, that is going to come up for you guys so you know it, 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 it can be good because discussions is good discussions um, let people know um, where they're going um, a lot of telephone calls uh, a lot of emails but like chats and you know whatsapp that sort of a thing um, but nothing quite serious um and 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 you know this this sort of an energy that will be coming into you is connection with people um away from far away from you and that sort of a thing so you know this is going to be something where it's a lot of connection a lot of texting a lot of whatsapp and that sort of a thing but it's that you're just you know a lot of phone calls but you're not really connecting with anyone it's as if you are on a journey you're on your own journey trying to figure out things at this moment this is exactly how it is you you're still chit chatting with people and that sort of a thing but you know you are on a journey where you are going you're looking forward and you're you're on a journey and some people could be going on secret journeys and the secret journeys 
um, is to connect with the spirit world maybe some people are working um, with their soulmate from out the spirit world so a lot of people will be asked to travel um, you uh, you liberants in this in this um, month is going to more ask to travel and, 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 and connecting with the spirit world because that's new for you and that's 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 happening for you but that's new for you um, um, uh, most of you are going to be reading a lot you know looking for information seeking the truth most of you will be seeking the truth most of you will be um, you know uh, um, looking for education self-loving looking educating yourself uh, and um, and 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 some people are going to keep secrets for themselves so this is this is really a weird thing it's like as if in the love sense you are you're opening up but you're not opening up and you don't really want to connect with anyone because you want to connect with yourself and you know this this sort of energy is really really a powerful powerful energy that is going because what whatever is happening is that it's as if you're connecting with a spirit world and you're on a journey with yourself and you know private correspondence so this is what I'm saying about the text and the message and that sort of a thing secret message or coming to you um, secrets come to light that sort of a thing so <laughs> yeah it's, 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 it's that sort of a thing so it's not that you're 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 you're, you're loving and in this thing the love is there but you are doing it with yourself you're connecting with the unseen world you're connecting with your soul family uh, secrets are coming out things that you weren't known is coming out and I see a lot of people traveling um, and you can travel mentally and physical and you can travel by movement so it's it's, it's elevating is it's you finding yourself it's you connecting yourself you seeking out the spirituality you seeking out other information other connections so it's not really a um, a month because um, um, a letter information um, and emails and that sort of a thing you'll be having but um, for the lifelong partners it's going to be discussion so you see the discussions of things comes up in different sort of a ways for you guys so you know this 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 I think is wonderful in the sense that unexpected things are going to happen to you and um, these unexpected things are going to change your life okay so um, it's yeah it's 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 weird but um, expect the unexpected I should say expect the unexpected and you know your luck is coming out so uh, unexpected event uh, expect the unexpected You know unseen event and your luck luck and luck and you know luck uh, is and, and, and luck is coming up so the wheel of fortune is always uh, um, the fortune your luck you know expect fortune fortune is on your side so yeah yeah fortune is on your side whatever it is fortune is on your side okay so um, you know that is basically um, your energy for the month okay let's look at what numbers are here for you guys because I've seen at eight there is I think two nine stairs three so obviously the ascendance masters are coming up the ascendance masters are coming up I have so the first number is going to be a three 
the ascendance masters are coming up ascendance masters are here but it's a spiritual aspect the godinas so it's it's connecting it's it's working with the masters you guys are going to work with the number three so you're working with the masters. <laughs> sorry <coughs> did I have that good Yeah, three. We are all working with the ascendance masters. Yeah, we go another three. Sacrifice is also another three. So you know, and that's a eight, 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 eight. So it's three and eight is your energy vibration. Um, you liberals. So you know, this is a profound on real reading the, and and I, I've, I've realized that the my readings are changing because more guides more spirit guides more angels uh, working with the intergalactic beams working because I'm a multi-dimensional beam working with them is bringing in more information so especially for you liberals I can imagine why um, um, your reading is is like this in the month of July because um, in the month of July there are changes coming in where there the more more planetary aspects are coming in and you Librans are were a rule by Venus and the scale you know so it's a lot of balances so you're having a lot of balances and now this month you're going to start to learn to work with the intergalactic on your cosmic families your guides and angels and that sort of a thing and it's opening up new doors so that's where the unexpected came from and this unexpected I can see that's why you are detached from the love aspect um, with other people you're just working on the love aspect with yourself so this is um, understanding what is happening for you here okay for work it's a month of empowerment enlightenment the work aspect it's more of empowerment and enlightenment there is there is there is you just working with yourself in this month there is no connection there's no nothing it's you working with yourself it's you trying to figure out it's you trying to connect um, the energy of love is out there but you are connecting with yourself you're learning self-love and self-empowerment in this so the work that you're doing is inner work with yourself in this month is nothing that to do with other people in work aspect career and that sort of a thing it's as if you are taking over the spiritual world it's as if you've reached a point because your materialistic aspect is in the reverse so it's not really a month where you are focusing on work it's a month that you're focusing on the unseen world what is there be beyond is there something that sort of an energy okay so we're moving on to the Sun moon and rising sign and we are beginning with the Sun sign so remember the Sun people were born between the hours of 12 of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. okay so you are a Sun person who will you be working with in this month of July you have the Pisces and the Pisces is the water energy and you'll be working with water sign people to balance whatever unbalance is there so you'll be working with the Pisces and the Pisces is a, you know they're ruled by Neptune so whatever is happening working with the Pisces and working with these water sign people is actually a positive plus for you um, because it's and it's, it's 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 in the aspect where certain things are happening for you so you know the Pisces are ruled door Neptune the Pisces are ruled or Neptune so Neptune is the spirituality thank you guys because I was wondering where this was going now I understand okay because your whole month is that you're connecting with the unseen world the spiritual world the universal angels your cosmic beam now I'm understanding what is happening because um, 
you are working with Neptune and Neptune is the planet Neptune is a watery um, planet but it's also the planet where the wisdom of Atlantis and uh, uh, Lumeria is so now this is is perfect this is understandable what you're doing so this is good as we look at the other um, um, zodiac um, star that you'll be working with is the cap is the scorpions and this is another water sign so you're working with the Pisces and the scorpions and the Pisces carries the energy vibration of uh, uh, water but ruled by Pluto and being ruled by Pluto you know you <laughs> I think Pluto and Saturn is the two planets that is so, that work so unbelievable so this I understand your reading now because you're all about the spirituality and the you know the unseen world that's what you're working with and now I understand why it's because you're working with Pisces which is Neptune ruled by Neptune and Scorpio that is ruled by um, uh, Pluto so this is going to be extremely good the another planetary aspect you'll be working with Mercurius Mercurius so expect to be working with the Virgos the Virgos are going to come in and help the Virgos and the Gemini's are going to come in and help too so that is the um, aspect the energy and the aspect of the people who are governed toward this planet or the uh, Virgo and the um, Gemini's so, so this is uh, this this is good this is good because you're working with the water and the air people and this is good because these people can awaken your psychic your psychic power your psychic knowledge so this is good and you are a sun sign and working with mercury and um because you're a sun sign working with the water elements which is uh, uh, um, neptune neptune which is has the in the information um for ascension uh, from lemuria and um, Atlantis uh, and working with the scorpions and the Pisces this is just so wonderful for you guys so for um, the Libra Sun rising um, people remember it's you're working with Pisces and you're working also with um, scorpion and this is um, good okay this is extremely extremely good this is good this is extremely good so um this is profoundly good um, you know just call upon the universal angels but to place the pure white light over you seal yourself off from negative influence um, the voices of negative people um, whatever people are sending you negative you can feel it because you feel as if your energy is drained so ask the universal angels for divine intervention to heal yourself and to seal you and protect you from the energies that people are and return the energies with them to them return it with pure white light okay so call upon your guides and angels and said I'm calling up on my guides and angels for divine intervention and divine protection I'm calling up on Evan to place me in a holy bubble of angelical light and ask that whatever negative energies what people are sending you be returned to those people okay and send them love and light okay we're moving on to the um, moon people moon people moon people moon people and the moon people um, Wow remember the moon rising sign is people who was born um, between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. you are the moon sign okay you will be working with the Capricorns the Capricorns is an earth energy element so they will be bringing balance to you as you see the Capricorns has a, um, a part of the fish with and a part of the gold so they are both uh, um, you know hurt and water also so this is good because they they learn they can teach you balance which is extremely good the other person that you be working with which is so strange is the Aquarians so whatever is coming up 
the Aquarians are coming in because the the energy of the Capricorns they are balanced people so they work with the water and fire but the air side of the Aries uh, is coming in and she works with you know water so it's a lot it's a sort of a healing an healing aspect that is happening and this is why you're working with the unseen world this is this is extremely good especially for you moon people and it's all about love so a lot of you people are going to connect with um, the energy vibration of the Capricorns and the Aquarians for whatever reason there is a balancing that you guys need to do together so July is going to be that month because what I'm realizing and I have been um, looking deeper at the situation that a lot of cleansing with people who were born different different sign or cleansing with different zodiac um, signs and this is good so this um, it's all about the love you guys who are working on the moon aspect it's about the love whatever um, situation is there between you uh, you Librans and the Capricorn and uh, um, the Capricorns and the Aquarius this is going to be taking place this is going there is going to be a healing a, a healing and this healing is love whatever love so a lot of you are going to be um, you know texting writing uh, and co communicating with um, um, Aquarians and uh, um, Capricorn people and this is good because they are the most spiritual aspect they use and work with the unseen world which is good again um, be careful what you do um, I want this to be instilled in you to be careful what you do and why is that is because um, uh, negative energies can be also you know taking over your body and you need to know when is something from the light and when is it need for, not from the light always ask these energies and beams that are coming in okay let's see what we have from the um, Mura for deliverance in the month of July we have inner truth Wow yeah that's you liberans that is you liberans inner truth is going to be the sense again try and make um the energy of uh, the finger um sign that is on it because it's help you because what this is going to um instill in you is integrity so apparently um you guys need to to learn something about integrity because I see the energy of trickery came up so I guess you guys have to work on honesty integrity uh, integrity um, have to do with honesty so I guess that is going to be because I saw that trickery came up so obviously some people and as I said if you have done something that was unjust to someone else this is going to come back to you so um, integrity truth and communication how you communicate so a lot of you will be working with integrity and truth you liberance so whatever is happening um, in your life whatever the universe is telling you that you need to work on these aspect of yourself because they are out of balance okay um, this is why I try at all times to be clear with people honestly and open sometimes it's hard when you see things around people and you wonder what is happening and um, you you know when we don't work on the, the vibration of integrity and honesty then you can never ever um, feel um, as if you're vibrating at a high energy because you are seeing these things of no compassion for another person so this is going to be your mudra and all you have to do is just fix your fix um, your hands as if it's on the, the picture and it will help you to vibrate that integrity and truth and if it's hard for you to do just ask your angels and guide to um, help you to vibrate 
with integrity and truth. And I want to say to each and every one here, these readings are getting longer and longer. It's very important that I get the message out there. Please like and share these reading. Understand where you are on your journey and. Uh, um, listen to the Sun Moon and Rising sign also listen to the general readings and the quarter readings because there's a lot of information that you can get so you can know how to vibrate thank you for being here I want to say to each and every person this is a very long reading I um, thank you for being here and um, namaste